going into game four of Vashu versus Loof. Uh, I'm gonna hit select in three, two, one. Okay, there we go. So right. going into game four once again. Loof to the north in red, Vashu to the south in blue, and Vashu has a really odd base there. Wow, this is a big map too. I can barely fit it on the screen, even all the way zoomed out. So uh, Loof has a much more open base. Uh, quite a few different routes to attack it. The Vashu definitely does not have an open base, with one choke to attack from, and then he has those uh, bases on the low ground, which should be fairly easy to defend. Definitely. In theory. So Vashu definitely went to the advantage in terms of uh, positioning in this game. Uh, Loof does have a little bit of a high ground his base is on. He does have some nice open areas um, in which to take bases. So he's not completely out of the game. Um, but we'll see what each definitely player not. decides to do with this particular map. Again, we're seeing Loof go for that 4 tier 1 uh, Chameleon Wolf. We've not seen it go past the Chameleon just yet in this series. Vashu opting for skunks and no tier 3. And so Luf has gone up to 8 farms and has built a squirrel warren, whereas Vashu is just gone up to 8 farms and is saving up some food. We'll see what he decides to do with that. Now, if I were playing this match, I would seal off my base with turrets. No, but I'm not placing, playing this match. That's just a dumb idea to seal yourself in your own base before you started taking expansions. Whoa! Against someone like Loof, though, who, who likes to go for some more aggressive plays generally. Two Might be pretty good. going down for Vashu. Oh, wow. <laughs> against okay. three Squirrel Warrens for Loof. Well, chameleons are fairly effective right now in this uh, patch, so maybe that could work out. I, I'm actually quite interested to see how the OP chameleons do against OP squirrels. Definitely. A third chameleon warren going down for Vashu, and Luf's just building up squirrels. He's got four warrens of squirrels out already. Both players on oh, eight man. arms. Luf, if he just attacks right now, that would be the perfect timing, really. Yeah. Those farms completely undefended. There's a couple of chameleons out. Both players taking a lot of time just to kind of wander around this map and explore it all, because it's so big. Oh yeah, Luf comes in, <laughs> sees the enemy base, has nothing except oh, tier, no. tier 3 warrants, or tier 2 warrants. And that, that chameleon comes uncloaked, unfortunately. So Luf knows that he's got three tier 2 chameleon warrants, throwing down a chameleon warrant of his own. He's got 15 squirrels. I don't know if this is going to be enough for Vashu. 15 squirrels versus, what is that, 5 chameleons? Just about? It's not going to be enough, I don't think. Those chameleons. Oh, I, I just think I'll die too fast to deal enough damage. And Luf getting out chameleons of his own. If Luf gets out these chameleons before Vashu can have some sort of uh, battle, Vashu's not going to come off uh, very well. He needs to build up some sort of tier 1, which he is doing. He's built some uh, lizard... Oh no, he hasn't built up lizard 1. That's Luf! Luf is building lizards as well! Oh dear. Vashu throwing down two turrets after grabbing an expansion. Luf has seen that expansion now. He's going to go ahead and scout this main base and see that, yep, it's still three tier 2 warrants of chameleons. So... Luf sees that he has nothing but chameleons and has decided, well, tier 1s are great against chameleons, very inefficient trades. So let's just build a ton of tier 1s. 6 lizards, 15 scrolls, and why not just some chameleons too, because they're amazing. And a mole mixed in there as well. And a mole. Very multicultural army for Luf there. <laughs> I don't know that there's a way that Luf can win this. I mean, he's got eight eight chameleons out. I guess they could, you know, in two hits, more than half of Luf's army is going to be down. But there's four chameleons out for Luf as well, and he's taking them around the back door. Oh, well, he's going around the back door. Just with the lizards. Is he going to go three farms? Oh, he spots one chameleon. And that and warren's going to go down. That... Oh, yep, the warren does go down, but he swipes a couple of those lizards. Oh, and Vashu has pigeons off now. Yeah. 
So those chameleons are going to be able to heal up between fights very quickly. Okay, and here we go. Here's the fights. And the pigeons go down immediately. A massive chameleons. Oh, and those chameleons just go down way too fast, especially with loose chameleons with them. That was a lot of the army that went down, though. Fortunately, it's not going to be enough. Loof is going to take game four and become the third place winner of Clash of Comrades May Mayhem of the bronze match. Congratulations to Loof. He, he played really well there. He did exactly what he needed to do uh, against the chameleon cheese there. Definitely. Um, make sure you check out the first game of this uh, best of five series. Um, it involves some really interesting building cheese. Um, we will post Indeed. that today so you guys can watch that. Again, sorry for all the technical difficulties. But uh, excellent games, excellent match played between uh, Vashu and Loof. Uh, and that is the last segment of videos that we have for May Mayhem. So May Mayhem has been wrapped up in its entirety. Uh, and the next tournament, which is starting in a couple weeks, is July Joust. Indeed, um, I think everyone's excited to see how that goes. We've got a lot more people in the alpha now. A lot of them uh, learning the game right as we speak. And with the with the speed, you can really learn this game. I expect that at least a couple of them will get to some of the top tiers of that tournament. Definitely. All right, so we will look forward to seeing you in the coming weeks for July Joust. Uh, but for now, my name is Captain Fogg, and I am joined by Hunter. And Thank we're you going for to yeah, we're going to say goodbye.